Hello, Phobia. We are playing. Wikaphobia this season. Season 24. Woo! Essentially, what that is for the uncultured and unaware, unvocabularized, um, is the fear of witches. So, everybody is... Well, not everybody, I should say, but most people who have played Minecraft are familiar with what witches are and what they do. Um, and as a result, yep. one of the bigger parts of the season is that... Uh, there are no golden apples in this UHC. Instead, we our gold, when we craft a golden apple, quote-unquote, it becomes a health potion, which can be then brewed with multiple other ingredients. Um, I will maybe, if I remember, link a picture to the ingredients <laughs> in my description, <laughs> but I'm not going to make a promise about that. Um, yeah. Also, if you go if you go west, there are regular swamp trees that yeah, you can actually get I think wood from. There's also some to the east. I think the biome, like, like how often each biome occurs, has been like shrunk a lot. Like, I yeah, think that the makes sense. I think the terrain is going to switch up every, like every so often. Yeah, it was labeled as like, um, uh, like mostly swamp except for pockets of mangrove. Yeah. So that makes sense. Now there's been a lot of like rumors about swamps and their caves and stuff like that in the past, but of course since then all the caves have been revamped and stuff, so who, who knows. Yeah. Like back in the day in good old 1.8 UHC, a lot of people would always theorize that you get more diamonds in a swamp, you get <laughs> a higher chance of finding a mine shaft in a swamp. And I think it's just because swamps are a good biome just in general for anything. Yeah, I agree. What a lot of people don't know, at least by looking from at swamp trees, a lot of people don't realize that they have more leaves, which is why they give you a higher apple rate percentage. Yeah. Because a typical always... a typical tree only has like I think it's somewhere between forty eight and a stack of leaves, and then I think oh, wow. swamp trees have like twenty or thirty more than that. Wow. Uh, I was I was gonna see like oh let's see if I can find any like deserts or structures no it's all swamp yeah it's just swamp there's not there's another be... mangrove over I mean there. I don't know if villages can occur in swamps but like I don't think like there's any swamp villages like in vanilla at least yeah which is real like missed missed opportunity for an update in the swamp update you, I, you gotta you gotta admit like swamp huts and villages and stuff it's like Seems like a no-brainer, honestly. You'd think, but... I was saying, um... They certainly developed this game. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. I mean, they've done a lot of things right, for sure, but they've also done yeah. a lot of things... in not the greatest way, I would say. Yeah, like, it's... it's they. I definitely would say that among all, like, developer companies and stuff, I definitely say that they're probably in the better tier, but... They, they, there's still a lot that they could do better, especially in recent times, as Microsoft has had more and more of an influence on them. But, yeah. All right, I so I, I guess, Sorry, okay, I guess, um, in the event that I do forget to put the image in the description, I will read out what every item does now. So. Beginning top left, we have Miner's Delight, which comes from mixing an Amethyst Shard with an Elixir. And as a result of that, you get Haste 2 for 5 minutes, so that's going to be a nice one to craft when you're underground. Oh, um, yeah. oh, wow, yeah. Following that one is Seething Rage, which is an apple as the ingredient. Uh, the result is Strength 1 for 10 seconds. The one after Seething Rage is probably one of the better ones that I didn't even actually realize was on here until I've read it right now, and I hear a witch now, so I'm scared. What the oh, fuck? Oh shit, I just- uh, right as you said that I found a witch hut. I found one too, but like, I'm cutting down trees and I see a witch now, so... Uh, I don't- yeah, I don't see a witch in this witch hut, so that's good. Okay, but as I was saying, um, the one after Seething Rage is Canine Summon, which, if you know what Ooh. a canine is... <laughs> uh, you use a bone with an elixir and it will spawn a tamed wolf which is actually pretty damn good that is really good honestly uh, of 
of course there's a chicken right there, right next to the fucking witch that I'm trying to avoid. Um, after the spawnage of tamed wolves, there is a warden cry, which you use an echo shard, which you get from a skulk shrieker, I guess? I didn't even know that item existed. I also did not know that. Um, and what that does is it plays the warden roar sound and gives enemies within 20 blocks weakness 1 for 20 seconds. Oh, wow. So that's good if you're, like, in a 1v2 getting melee rushed, I, I suppose. A lot of the, is like... That a witch? Yeah, that is a witch. Oh, fuck. A lot of the defensive slash multi-purpose ones are not as good as some of the, uh... How do I... What's the word for that? Like, aesthetic, I guess? Bonuses, I think. More like probably... cosmetic or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ruined portal. Nice. Um, I'm having oh, kind of, I'm block. having some trouble finding animals. I've noticed. I I found like a couple sheep. Um, but that's about it. I've been breaking all the uh, the dead bushes in the swamp just to just to get like bread. But that's just like, that's just like 1.19 Arctic. Like mobs just like don't spawn. <laughs> I just found a cat from one of the huts. That's funny. Nice. The cat is the witch. Beware. I think I'm running through a mangrove right now. We're not going to want to be inside these, like, in the middle of the night. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just gen generally want to avoid the mangrove swamps because they just are kind of an ass to, to traverse. And there's another witch right there. I try to stay the hell away. Okay, where the hell... This is just... Whoa! Okay, never mind. <laughs> Language. I know, you're gonna have to deal with bad words like fuck and hell and no. shit. No. Not me, who totally doesn't <laughs> swear like every sentence. No. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm very sorry for your family-friendly channel. Okay, back to the freaking effects, because I've only listed four of the, like, 28 that are here. Alright, so the one after Warden Cry is Eternal Life, where you use an egg with an elixir and it replaces your offhand with a Totem of Undying for 20 seconds. So that one, I suppose, is pretty good if you have, like, in, like, a scenario where you're low on health and you're like, oh no, this is my last potion. Like, mm. at least you have a Totem to kind of... Because Totem does give you regen and absorption and all that shit when you pop it, so, like, if it does yeah. go off, it would be really good. But, like, the fact that it only lasts 20 seconds makes it a very risk versus reward value, and f for the price of an egg, I think that's pretty damn good. Yeah, that, I didn't even, like, I, I, I kind of spaced out when you said the ingredient, but that is, like, kind of really good for an egg. Yeah. So, if we see eggs, make sure to grab them. <laughs> yeah. That is if we find chickens. Okay, I finally found some cows too, which I will, I guess, skip to that ingredient since I have leather in my inventory now. Um, I can't find a chest in this ruined portal, so I don't know if it's just buried I think deep sometimes, or... I think sometimes they just won't have them. Yeah, just maybe. Very rarely. It does have a gold block though, so I'm trying to find like three iron so I can mine it. Okay, so the elixir with leather as an effect gives you absorption for one minute. Huh. So I don't I don't remember exactly how absorption works, but I know in at least one version of this game, if you had absorption for longer than like the golden apple length, it like will come back. So I think that is what's going to occur if you do that, but I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Um Oh, I already have eight apples. Holy crap. Okay. Oh god, I didn't even stick around to craft or to collect the apples from the trees that I chopped down. That is uh, Yeah, I made that a point of emphasis for me, especially this game. Typically, like, I'll think about doing that, but sometimes I won't follow up with it, so. Uh, let's see here. What's the next effect after that? I just did Eternal Life, and then we have Soul Link, which when applied to any elixir with an Ender Pearl. Um, will allow me to transfer the effects of the potion to my teammate wing here. Mm -hmm. And then... Or, or to you, if, if I yeah, use it. Yeah, other way around. And then after Soul Link, we have Pocket Gust, which the ingredient is a feather. I think this one's pretty cool, but I don't know if it's worth losing out on 8 arrows for. 
Um, you put a feather with an elixir and y your attacks deal strong, word, strong upward knockback for 15 seconds. I think huh. if that one was more like 30 seconds, I think it would be more worth our time. I, I forgot it was it was comp torches. I just made nearly two stacks. Oh, I see shop and ripper. I'm gonna go this uh -oh. way. Ooh, okay. I have I have enough iron to uh, collect that gold block now. I just gotta smelt it. Good. And I gotta hope that nobody gets to it first. All right. I don't have a lot of food, but I guess I have enough for now. The uh, the effect after pocket gust for those still listening is arrow parry which you use flint as your elixir ingredient, and then you will receive proj prot 2 on all your armor for 30 seconds, which is, I think, okay, but again, it's more like the totem one where it's very situational. Yeah, you would have to specifically wait to, um, for that situation, yeah. Is, I guess I, I, I want to add, like, I guess maybe I'm slightly um, confused on what exactly all this means. Is this specifically for, like, um, god, oh, there's a witch up there. Uh, is this specifically for, like, the golden apple potions? Yes, yeah, so the golden apple potions are, like, think of them like, um, regular potions that you would put in a pruning stand. I see. That's interesting. Like, you're basically just rebrewing them. I see. I, at least that's my understanding of the game mode. I don't know if that's but actually what happens, but... Um, and then after Arrow Parry is Kenai, which gives you... Um, you use Glass as the ingredient. And that gives you consecutive landed bow shots deal plus 2% for 2 minutes. So that one, if you stack that one, it says oh, it caps... Oh, it says it caps at 10%, so... You could, if you get a power 4 bow, that ability would be really really useful Ooh. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a, of a time just trying to go back and snag this gold block because the mobs are, are out on yeah, the surface I definitely see that the mobs are out I'm getting swarmed yeah. okay oh shit zombies and now to rush back to my cave that I was still exploring okay let's see what's the next effect now after the effect that I just listed, which was... Oh god, I'm gonna take damage. Kenai. Oh god, oh god. After Kenai, there is heal overload. Whoa. Oh, I didn't take damage somehow. Wow. Okay. Okay, so heal overload, you use glowberries. And as a result of heal overload, you get regen one for five seconds, but glowing one for 20 seconds. Huh. So it's kind of, I don't know if healing paranoia is that game mode that, I know that eating a golden apple and healing, oh my god, hey zombie with strength, do not hit me. One second. I know that, dude, I don't know how to get around this cave without risking damage. Hey, I, I, hear, a, I hear a skeleton, where the hell is it? That's a scary question okay. to ask. I'm gonna box myself in and finish reading some of these really quick. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so heal overload. We already went over that one. You get regen one for five seconds and you glow. Um, the one after that one is divine shield. You use lapis lazuli for that. And the next hit that you take that is greater than one heart of damage is completely ignored. So that one is really strong as well. That was one of the ones huh. that stood out to me pre-game. Because when you mine lapis, you will have extra lapis, typically. Yeah. Um, I already went over quick defense, which I'll just say again, I guess, really quickly. You get absorption one for one minute with leather. After that is magma core, which you use a magma block for, and you get fire resistance for one minute, so that would be good if I want to go swim in lava looking for some diamonds. Um, let me actually try to be productive and at least smelt my food while I'm sitting here and Probably talking. Probably a good idea. Okay. So after magma core is huge growth, growth, which is where you get a mangrove propagule, which I've already snagged one of. Um, and drinking one of, when you mix a mangrove with an elixir propagule, um, you get five random elixir ingredients. So huh. we could get some really strong stuff from that, or we could get some really sh like weak stuff from that. Yeah, that is that is fascinating. That's like a like a loot box. And then, as many people who have uh, pretty extensive potion knowledge already know, 
The next is Magic Antidote, which you mix an elixir with a milk bucket, and it'll clear all negative effects that you receive. So if, Good. for example, uh, a witch gives me, I don't know, weakness for two minutes, I can drink my Magic Antidote elixir and clear that weakness. Um, following Magic Antidote is Gem Roulette, which, is, which uses Mossy Cobble as your thing. And the result of mixing Moxy Cobble with an elixir is double or nothing for five minutes. And for those oh. who are unaware of what double or nothing is, essentially when you mine any given ore, you will get either double the amount of items or no items. And then, after Gem Roulette is Body Spike, which you use Dripstone for. And Body Spike gives you Thorns 2 on all armor pieces for 45 <laughs> seconds. That would be a good one to have, just so that when you're inevitably being bombarded by like five different people shooting arrows at you, you just you do damage until well, that, you die. That and also if you see someone melee rushing you, that yeah. one's pretty useful to oh, use. Oh wait, does, does thorns uh, activate on melee yes. hits? Too? Yes, it does. I feel like that's like a basic piece of knowledge I should have known already, but... And the fact that it would be on all of your armor pieces means that it's so much more likely to proc as well. Yeah, and Thorns 2, not even just Thorns 1. Mm -hmm. After Body Spike is Water Wings, which you use a Pufferfish for. Um, I think that is like... Okay, it's only one heart. For Water Wings with Pufferfish, you get Conduit Power and Dolphin's Grace for two minutes. So that one's really good. I want to go exploring like underwater caves and stuff. Yeah, that and also if you're in a fucking area with a lot of water, obviously. Yeah. Um, the one following that one is Shadow Shift, where you get invisibility for 30 seconds and you cannot be hit by arrows. In order to get that one, you have to throw a pumpkin in there. And a hero skeleton now, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what this dude is, but I don't see him. So. Oh, I took damage. I need to turn my volume up because I cannot hear my game. Okay. I'm so sorry. We're going to lose now. I took damage. How dare you? Um, the one following Shadow Shift is Iron Skin, which you get a block of raw iron, and you get Resistance 1 for 30 seconds with that one. So that one's pretty good. Um, let me avoid the skeleton by all means. Okay, we should be good. Resistance 1, like, for 30 seconds would be just good for, like, tanking damage yeah, in, in a Yeah, there's a, a melee lot fight. of really good, like, melee effects. Yeah, it's just that you have to have, like, golden apples per each effect that you want. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can't find some more iron here. Of course, there's multiple drowns trying to kill me as well. Oh my well. god, are you kidding me? on seven hearts now because fighting skeletons uh in on arctic with the new with the old combat but new skeletons is uh kind of uh difficult to do without taking at least like five million hits Ugh. i think i'm on I'm, oh wait no never mind katie's at 35 i'm not lowest in the game whoa okay i just saw one that like thank god i saw it right now because i almost cooked all my raw pork Oh. Um, so, you mix raw pork with an elixir, and you'll get saturation one for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> so that's a whole episode and a half of not having to eat food. That one is pretty damn good. Um, following full stomach is ore sense, which you use redstone, but redstone dust for. And you get parafusion messages for 30 seconds. Now, I don't exactly remember how parafusion works, it's but I, be basically I it's believe it just tells you where ores are mined, right? Yeah, it basically is par paranoia, but it doesn't tell you who. Yeah, yeah. It just tells you things happen. Right. And you'd also know if there's a fight occurring somewhere. So that one, depending on what time you drink it, could be really good. Yeah. Um, following that is sturdy back, which you use a saddle for. And you can enable piggyback for two minutes <laughs> with that one. That sounds like a lot of. Fun. I didn't even see that one until right now, and the person being the person being ridden gets speed two and weakness two while oh they're being God. ridden. That like that sounds very like that sounds like if you just want to have fun rather than like I don't know how I don't think piggyback is effective. Uh, very I useful. think no, I think it is. It's essentially really? you're using a horse but your teammate. That that is true. 
So maybe, maybe if we find a saddle. Oh, episode, episode one is one. over. Later.